What's up everyone, Art here with No Code Devs, and today I'm gonna to show you how to automate your social media directly from Airtable. So if you have an Airtable base with a ton of information that you wanna share on different social channels, this tutorial is for you. It's quick and easy, it takes a few minutes just to get going, and there's a direct integration so you don't need anything like Zapier or Make. This goes right through Airtable directly to your social networks. Let's dive in and show you how it's done. All right, let's go ahead and get going. So I'm in a sample Airtable base here, and I would like to automate any time a new record comes in this base, I'd like to automate it so that a tweet goes out sharing some of the information that's from this table to Twitter. What's really cool is that you can set up an automation to happen just sort of automatically whenever a new record is created, or you can have some sort of uh, quality control check like when approved, is checked, then it will send to Twitter or when it goes into a certain view, like the approved view. Um, so there's different types of things that you can do. You can have it go automatically or you can have your quality control. For this example, we're gonna have this quality control. So we check approved because we might not want everything to go to Twitter, but you get the idea. So if you're in your Airtable base, again, we're just using a sample base here, but what you wanna do is go up to this automation tab at the top of your base. So now that you're in the automation area, there's a couple of things that I wanna show you here. You have these, this sort of like blank canvas where you can actually build an automation from scratch. You can add your trigger and then you can add an action event. If you use like Zapier or Make, this should feel very familiar. But what Airtable actually has is some uh, direct integrations already pre-built like Slack, um, Google Calendar and so on. One of the ones that they have though is post to Twitter. So this is perfect. This is exactly what we want to do. When a record is in our table and we choose approved, we want it to go ahead and post to Twitter. So I'm going to go ahead and check that. And what it, I'm going to hide this tooltip, but it actually sets up this workflow for us automatically. So here's the trigger step. When a record matches a condition, if approved is checked. So let's just hop back here. So again, if approved is checked, then it's actually going to go ahead and post a tweet. So we use the pre-built, you could build this from scratch, but they have it already set up for us. So we're not gonna reinvent the wheel and we're just gonna use their pre-built action. So here it all is. And um, in this right panel, this is where we can sort of configure uh, what happens. So right now we're in the action part of this step. Everything is correct. When approved is checked, we want it to post a tweet. So here we go. Um, we can click into this post tweet and there's a couple things that you need to do. You need to um, connect your Twitter account. I'm not gonna do it here in this step, but it's a one click connection. So if you're signed into your Twitter, you just click connect new Twitter account and your Twitter account will connect. Now, for this table, we have this data here where it has like a name, a description, a category, an image, and a link. So we might wanna peel some of this out to share on our tweets, but we might not want all of the information to share on Twitter. So what's really cool is you can build a sort of a, you know, a tweet here that pulls in dy uh, content dynamically from your table. So we'll just do a test scenario. be like, this is a new now right here after new let's say we want to bring in content dynamically from our table so this is where we click this plus button and we can click um let's just say name great so it's going to pull in the name dynamically and it is part of the now we want to pull in the category so let's just say category name category um, we can also uh, include like a link so we can pull in the link. So that way um, this would link out to the actual piece of content that's in our, that are in our air table. So right here, this is a blank, a, a name for dynamically as part of the blank category. You can also pull in attachments if you have them in your air table, like images um, or video content, even perhaps GIF and you can share all this. So once you get this all set up, my Twitter account is not connected here because I haven't authenticated it, but you can sort of test the action and then you can save it and it's ready to run. Let me go ahead and connect this Twitter account. No code devs, access at the Airtable. I'm actually gonna get an authentication code here. Okay, and we're gonna 
authorized. I just want to show you how this actually works. Okay, so we're now actually connected um, to our Twitter account. Everything looks good. We can actually add um, an attachment here so we could actually add the image. So that's pretty cool. We can add the image and we can go ahead and test. I'm not gonna test it because it would actually tweet this out on our Twitter, but everything would be working. It would send a, send a test tweet to Twitter. If we liked how it looked, then we could go ahead and just switch it on and our automation would be running. So that's it. It's a simple way to automate social media from Airtable. Again, you could actually connect the Hootsuite so that you could send to Facebook or LinkedIn or sort of other social networks that you can connect the Hootsuite with. They do have a direct Twitter integration, which is really nice, but the, uh, the options are sort of wide open if you want to connect it to Hootsuite or some other tool. I hope that this was helpful. Have a great day.